Shalom, shalom. You guys asked for it, and I am happy to oblige. Let's dig into the life of David Koresh. Now, before we can really talk about David, we have to talk about a woman named Bonnie Sue Clark. Bonnie Sue lived in Texas, and in 1958, at only the age of 13, she started dating a man named Bobby Howell, who was 19. Bonnie became pregnant, and while she was pregnant, at the age of 14, Bobby left her for another teenage girl. Later that year, Bonnie would give birth to a little boy, who she named Vernon Wayne Howell. Not long after, Bonnie Sue found a new boyfriend, and her and Vernon moved in with him, but this man ended up being a violent alcoholic. When Vernon was only four years old, his mother decided to take off with her violent alcoholic boyfriend, and she left Vernon with her mother, Earlene. Now, Vernon would later say that his childhood was very, very lonely, and he was dyslexic and had poor eyesight, which landed him in special ed classes in school. The other students made fun of him for this, and he didn't really have any friends. He ended up dropping out of school in 11th grade. This little lonely boy would grow up to be David Koresh, leader of the Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas. I'm going to continue talking about his life as well as the events that happened at Waco right here, so if that's of interest to you, make sure you follow so you don't miss anything.